Howdy y'all, welcome back to Camp Shack Productions. Uh, today I am in the backyard because I am getting ready to try to burn in my brand new uh, fit in hot tent stove. Um, so this is a present that I got over the holidays. Uh, my beautiful wife decided that she was gonna get me a hot tent stove. So I have never used one of these before, um, but one of the things that I did read about and wanted to make sure I did was to burn it in before you actually take it out in the field and put it in your tent in case there are any uh, sprays on the metal itself. You wanna give your pipes a chance to burn in and do all of that. So I have the handy dandy wood scrap bucket from my wood shop um, and I'm gonna put this thing together. All right, so I did not want to go and buy any firewood so i thought what i would do is i would just use some of the pieces of kindling i have some pretty soft pine here um, and i figure i can use that to uh, at least get enough wood to get this thing started. And uh, this is a nice soft wood. All right, y'all, so it is definitely starting to snow here. Um, so let's do, uh, not the initial unboxing, because I've already done that, but let me go over the features for you here. So this stove has these two metal grates that pop out. Um, and they call those drying or warming grates. So you have those. Um, and then it's a very simple process to get the legs out. You just fold. Um, be careful. This is rough metal. Um, so you can definitely cut yourself. So be very, very careful in doing that. Um, and just make sure you have a good base. Uh, unfold your rack here. Um, the door has a little latch. Uh, hello, Vader. Come over here, buddy. And we'll go over uh, those systems a little bit closer here in just a minute. Um, so <laughs> Again, I did open this already. So inside of here, uh, this is the metal cap top that goes on this thing um, and I think it's to put it out uh, and I also have uh, the glass window which doesn't bolt in it just slides in um, so to keep it from breaking I had an old case uh, and I just wrapped it in a towel and I figure that both of those pieces uh, will just live inside of that um, I do have some wire and some rings, uh, just so that I can make my, uh, spark arrestor. I'm going to make some little tie downs so that I can hold it in a little bit better. Um, and in fact, you can see, uh, I already did one here. Um, but this is just a way where I can put those metal brackets through and use a key ring um, and then that way I can tie this off so that if it's windy, I can create tie out points. Um, so that's your spark arrestor as well. It's got a top on it that will supposedly stop sparks from coming out. Uh, and then you have your first piece. Um, and this one actually has a dampener, um, but it does not touch. Um, it doesn't go all the way through like you would think so the very first piece you put on would be that so you can control your dampener uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. and then the spark arrestor but i'm going to put those pieces on first um and then you also have a tool to help rake out coals um and i also think to help open up that section which again, I'm 
very curious as to why why that's there, but maybe it's to cook. Um, and then inside, you do have a grate to create airflow underneath. It comes with the little feet facing up and you wanna flip it over so that you get some airflow as you go through. So, spark arrestor, we'll give you guys the full look. Um, you can see you have a little wheel to control how much airflow comes through the front. And like I said, the little glass window comes off, but you can really control your burns through this uh, and not have to have the door wide open like a lot of them do. Um, and then you also have that crazy little top. And I'm wondering if that's to help cook, but pretty cool. All right, y'all, so I am going to take that newspaper that I had, um, take a little bit of this dryer lint, just kind of tuck it around, um, and then a whole bunch of that just little kindling stuff that I made. Again, this is a really, really light wood. Um, I believe it's a form of pine. Most people use it for like their decks and things. Um, but I have some really nice thin little pieces of this that I can just kind of drop in there. And then as I need to, I can add some of the bigger pieces. So let's give it a try. What do you guys say, huh? things you definitely want to make sure you can do is have plenty of fuel um, and while you're burning off your wood burning stove like this for the first time if it does start to get really smelly and toxic um, move away from it you definitely don't want to uh, breathe in anything that you shouldn't be so I can tell you it is definitely burning in some funky smell um and i have some pretty heavy duty wood in there now um so what i thought i'd do next is uh i have my coffee percolator um for those of you that are not sure what that is this is a percolator um basically it's got a hollow tube that runs through here Water bubbles up, drips on top, and then mixes in with the water to create your coffee. Um, and I figured this would be the perfect thing to test on top of this stove to see how long it takes. So I'm gonna start a timer. We'll see how long it takes to start boiling because once it starts to boil, it bubbles through the top. Um, and we'll also see how long it takes to uh, make coffee. But this thing is definitely putting off some pretty noxious fumes. Um, so much so that I don't know if I want to stay inside of this little carport where it seems to be blowing. So you definitely want to pre-burn your stove before you take it out into the back country because it's gonna, it's gonna cook off some sort of coating or chemical or something, so. Burn it in before you take it. All right, um, so one of the things you wanna remember when you're working with something like this is that you don't wanna burn yourself. So 
Good old pair of leather gloves. I should have probably had these on when I was splitting wood just to protect my hands. Uh, or you can go and pick up an old pair of welding gloves or Harbor Tool and Freight welding gloves. As you can see, I have used these for many a campfire. Um, so again, one of the really nice things about a percolator is, is that you have this amazing coffee uh, that just drips down through. And I always like to remove um, the center stem before I uh, before I pour my coffee, just that way I don't get a bunch of grounds in there. Um, and that is just cooking right off my stove. So 25 minutes in. You've got your hot coffee, uh, it's nice. Um, and then you're supposedly supposed to be able to set things uh, on the side here, like this. It's kind of a warmer. Uh, it definitely does not seem to be the smoothest, um, but it is also, oh, I should show you this. Uh, they said it is a great place to lay out your gloves or socks to dry near the fire. Um, but if you do that, just remember to be careful. This coffee is gonna be way too hot to drink, but cheers. Yup, yup, too hot. Um, now that we've burned in our stove, we can sit back and uh, since it's the middle of the day on a Thursday, instead of a beer for our step two, we'll have a cup of coffee, so. Um, this thing is producing a ton of heat. Like if I was in a tent, this would be great. I can definitely see that the piping is starting to bend. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to fix those rings that melted off. Um, and I am just from the smell of what came off of this thing. I'm really stoked that I decided to burn it in before I put it inside of a tent or a shelter or something like that. Good old camp coffee. But the fact that you can cook on top of this, um, I do wonder if by opening that, if I could create more cooking, but there, you're definitely gonna get smoke inside of your tent if you do that. Um, so you have to kind of choose. I also think it's a good way that you could like snuff out the fire. Um, but yeah, this thing is pretty sweet. I'm really stoked. Thank you, Beautiful Life, for this wonderful gift. Um, I'm excited to put this in. If you guys have a suggestion about a hot tent that you think I should use, please leave a comment. I am all game to hear what you guys like, what you don't like, what you think I should use. Um, and I really appreciate you watching this video. I know this is a little different. Uh, I've never done anything like this, and I am so stoked to have this. This is going to make car camping trips just amazing in the winter um, i'm going to be able to set this thing up and pretty much have a fire all the time so this is a great little cook surface i'm super stoked to get out there um if you did enjoy this video please go hit the like button it helps to let other people know that this is a decent video and worthwhile watching um, and if you really enjoyed the video please go down and subscribe um, if you don't go and subscribe you are going to be cursed with a camp stove that every time you light it, it smells like the very first time you're burning it in. That chemically awfulness that came off of this thing will be trapped inside of your hot tent and it'll make your night miserable. So please go down and subscribe. Uh, be well, my friends. See you in the next video. Yeah, that thing's putting off some heat. Heat. I warmed up my gloves. Nice and toasty like.